What's up, ladies and gentlemen? Good morning. I wanted to take this opportunity to give you guys another quick tutorial on the Tesla Model Y. If I can get out from behind these semi trucks that want to spray gravel everywhere, I'm just going to pass them. Just got to pass them sometimes. Alright, like I was saying, I wanted to take this opportunity to give you guys. I want to give you guys a quick tutorial on the autopilot functionality for the Teslas. Um, this definitely applies to the Model Y and Model 3. I've never actually driven in a Model X or S, um, but I'm pretty sure they have the same stalk for driving, so it should be similar. So what we're going to go over is basically just how to activate, deactivate, and then how to alter or control the autopilot while you're using it. All right, so engaging autopilot is really simple. There's two different ways. You've got cruise control and you've got autopilot. So if you're in drive, or in drive going down the road, you're gonna take your stalk and you're gonna pull down once. When you pull down once, that's actually gonna engage cruise control. See how the, uh, it says 73 and max? That will actually allow you to let off the gas and it will hold you <clears throat> at that speed and it'll brake for you if you come up on cars. It'll accelerate for you when they get out of the way, but it will not drive for you. See, so watch here. So I'm coming up on a car and it's slowing me down. And then to do auto steer, you'll actually pull down on the stop twice. Now you're in auto steer, which I was really close to that semi, and you can see the lanes turn blue here. It will hold you in your lane and it will also drive for you. Now, the only thing about auto steer, it will not shift lanes for you unless you have the FSD. So when I put on my turn signal and I start steering, it actually will cancel the auto steer. But it remains on cruise control. So you still don't have to push the gas. Now you can double pull again and it will kick you right back into auto steer. Okay, so while we're in auto steer, there's a few different things you can do. First of all, note that they do want you to apply a slight force to the wheel. It's about every 30 seconds. You can either pull on the wheel a little bit, you can click or scroll one of the buttons. Uh, speaking of scrolling or clicking the buttons, this right button on your steering wheel actually is the control for your auto steer function and your cruise control. So you can see here, it will show you your max speed. You can actually scroll this wheel up to speed up or slow down. So you can see as I scroll the wheel up, it goes up. Now it'll only allow you to go so much higher than the posted speed limit. <clears throat> and it actually reads the cameras, sorry, it actually uses the cameras to read the speed limit signs. Uh, I've tested this because it will update that as soon as we pass a speed limit sign. So if it says 50 and we pass the speed limit sign that says 45, the moment we pass that sign, it will actually change to 45. I'm gonna slow back down to 50 here, or 52, that's fine. So you can use your wheel to adjust the speed. You can also use your wheel to adjust the following distance. So you see how I'm kind of close to this dump truck here. I wanna back up a little bit. I don't actually know why it's that close. I probably have it on one. So you can click the wheel left or right. I'm gonna click left. And you see how it will change that. It'll say three now. And click it again, it says four, five. So what that's doing is it's setting your following distance of how far to keep you away from the car in front of you. And you can go right to shorten the distance or left to increase the distance. So if we wanna get out of auto drive or auto steer, there's a few different ways to do it. Uh, we can touch the brakes, and if you just touch the brakes, it will immediately remove the cruise control and the auto steer. The other way we can do it is with the turn signal. If you put on the turn signal and go to change a lane, it will remove the auto steer, but not the cruise control. And if you just grab the wheel and overpower it, it will also turn off the auto steer, but not the cruise control. The other way to remove the auto steer and cruise control is to pull up on our stalk. So we're gonna take our stalk and go up. That won't kick you out of drive. It will just turn off your cruise control and your auto steer. 
So we'll do that real quick. So we'll just go up and everything's off and now I've got to give it gas or I'm going to slow down. So that's pretty much it. Again, a super quick short tutorial. Uh, it's something that I struggled with when I first got the car. I had to look it up and I uh, hope this helps you guys. If you want to see more tips or you have anything else you want to explain in detail, drop a comment on this video. Be sure to subscribe so you don't miss more. We'll see you guys in the next one.